If you have a screened in porch, you already know that the screen is great for keeping the bugs out, but not so much the inclement weather. If it's wet outside, it's going to be wet inside. If it's windy outside, it's going to be windy inside. If there's pollen outside, there's going to be pollen inside. Be pollen inside. But what if there was something that would give you use of the square footage of your screened in porch year round? Well, there is a system that is supposed to be able to do exactly that thing for you, and it's called a porch protection system. We checked it out. So, you've got a screened in porch, but you feel like you're losing the use of it a lot of the year round. What do you do? Well, there's several options, but there is one that you might particularly be interested in, and it's called the Porch Protection System. As a matter of fact, we're outside right now, and we're talking to Bill Whaley to find out more about it. Bill, tell me about por Porch Protection Systems. What is it? It's a porch accessory, basically, that's porch covers that are easily operated up and down. The basic thing is it, get, it allows you to use your porch year round. We moved into uh, a new house, my wife and I, in late 07, in, in November, the weather was getting cool, and we had just purchased new furniture and things for the porch, but we couldn't use it because the wind would blow things over. Right. When it rained, the wind would blow the water in. Everything just got soaking wet. So am I going to have to run, do I have to call an electrician, run a power line to operate this thing? No, they're manually operated. You just pull the cord and they roll up. And you tie it off to a cleat and they stay up like you can see here. When they're rolled up, basically your porch is back like it was before we ever came around. And you lower the cord and they roll down. Bill made it sound so easy, I had to give it a try. So now that the porch protection system is in place, we have to test it against the elements. In this case, man-made elements. We've got some nice furniture out here. I mean, we wouldn't want to get this one. In the summertime, we get a, a squall coming through like we've had here lately. You can drop them down and keep everything from getting soaking wet. And if there's wind? Uh, about every 15 inches on both vertical sides, right. we have uh, turn button and grommet fasteners. It just goes through the hole and you turn it. You see these on boats a lot, so they're not going anywhere. They, uh, they really withstand the, the wind really well. Bill, I'm going to put you in the hot seat right now. Let me ask you this. Instead of doing this, why don't I just go get some plastic and lance from, from the lumber yard and just nail them up myself? Well, you could. There are people that do that and they like it when we come around and show them this because there's a, a bunch of reasons that this is so much better. One is you're stapling this stuff onto your porch. You're right. ruining your porch with staples okay. or slatting or however you're fastening it on. Yeah. Second thing is you can't see through it so when you very well anyway. Right. So you're sitting in your porch you kind of feel cooped up. Uh, the third thing is you have to repeat it again next year. Oh yeah. You know and when you put it on and let's say you did it around Halloween or you know somewhere like that you're pretty much stuck with it till mid-April. There's no way to regulate the temperature in there. And to test his year-round theory, Bill made this video. I've tried to explain to people in the past the biggest, how big a difference this thing makes when it's down in the wintertime. And it's really hard to get people to believe me. So one day I got the idea, I'll shoot a video. It's 17 degrees outside and I can prove it because my TV's on. So I filmed from there through the porch, videoed the outside, and you can see the porch system is deployed. Walk back in the porch and zoom up to a thermometer that I have in the porch. And it was 70 degrees in my porch. And only a foot away through that curtain is 17 degrees. That's a huge difference. So here we are in our checklist. Rain, check. Snow, check. But what about the pollen? People hate the pollen because that's something that you have to do it every day if you're going to stay on top of it. Your porch gets so dirty. And all you do is you just drop these down. It only takes a few minutes. Right. And last but certainly not least, what about the maintenance? It's really easy. The best way to take care of it is just rinse it off with a garden hose when it gets dirty. So, there you go. Just goes to show that even somebody like me can do it, so it might be worth the inquiry to the porch protection system. Bill says he had ordered materials from a company, but he wasn't happy with what he got. As a matter of fact, he made a connection with a man in Del Mar. Mm -hmm. Turned out that he and this guy were in the Marines at about the same time, became fast friends, and now this guy in Del Mar produces all the porch protection systems for him. How about that? Isn't that great? What a story. Well, so we've got the porch covered. Now let's head up to the roof. How's yours looking these days? Up next, we're going to find out when. It's a good time to start thinking about roof replacement. We'll also learn more about a popular option these days, metal roofing. 
Our friends from Angie's List help us weigh the pros and cons. But first, Sean Stryker has given us one clue to help us guess his location on Delmarva. That wasn't much help. Sean, you have another for us. Well, Jimmy and Lisa, if you guys want to rent a book, where are you going to go? The library, and this town's library, was constructed in 1904 and was once the residence of John G. Towson Jr. And kind of as a bonus clue, he was a governor and a U.S. Senator, amongst other things. Coming up, I have one more clue for you. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back. 